Okay, this is my um, Jackaroo or Trooper. It's a 2000 model with a 4JX1 engine. It's had a lot of problems starting, and yesterday we probably came up on something which might make getting one of these girls uh, run a bit better. This is a cold run. I haven't um, tried this. Basically, uh, the oil rail pressure sensor has been disconnected. Uh, just with a with a plug under the bonnet. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go and turn the ignition on. And you see it goes into preheat, and the preheat stops, and we've still got the airbag flashing. So that takes to about 10 seconds, and I'll talk for another five seconds, and then we'll have a crack at starting it. All right. Let's see what happens. Right, turn it off, turn it back on, preheat, airbags flashing, we'll give it another three or four seconds after preheat. And away we go. Now there's two things with this, one is I believe the preheat continues on this engine after the glow indicator goes off the dash. The other reason that took a bit longer to start then was the fact that the oil rail pressure sensor is disconnected. At the moment this engine has a faulty sensor, I've got a new one to replace it with. However, uh, that delay is just the ECU uh, allowing the engine to crank over long enough for the pressure to build up. So basically all I've done is I've waited for the glow indication to stop, then I've waited another 10 to, you know, 5 to 10 seconds, basically 5 seconds after the airbag light has stopped flashing. I've cranked it, hasn't started straight away, so I've stopped, turned the ignition off, gone back on again, and away we go. And now we're sitting here um, idling nicely. And we've got throttle response. Give it a throttle response. So there you go folks, it's probably just um, my idea of a tip to get uh, one of these engines started uh, on a cold morning. There you go.